Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video which I don't think I've done yet on this channel. A while ago I showed you my signed books, um, which probably needs updating at one point, but in this video I'm going to be showing you all of my signed CDs, DVDs and one vinyl. Now I have a feeling I may have done a signed CDs video, I'm not sure, that'll need updating anyway, but I don't think I've ever shown the DVDs because I just don't have that many. <laughs> so I have three signed DVDs with four signatures. I have 13 signed CDs and one signed vinyl. So we will start with the vinyl. This was a charity shop find from my dad or an eBay, I can't remember, and it is the band AHA. Obviously I don't know the authenticity of this because it was a charity shop find I think, but I think it's signed by all of the members. Signature there, there, there's two there I think, or maybe one, I'm not sure. So that's AHA. Like I said, it's the only vinyl in my collection that is signed. Then we'll do the DVDs because there's not that many of them. I know a lot of people have more signed DVDs. I tend to go for pictures more than anything else really, uh, which is why I don't have that many signed CDs or DVDs. So the first one was an eBay purchase of The Grudge, signed by Sarah Michelle Geller. Again, authenticity, I'm not sure. It looks legit, but it's an eBay purchase, so you never know. Um, I ha have Daniel to thank for this, of Daniel's Autograph Collection. He sent me the listing, and of course I had to buy it. It wasn't a bad price either. And I have watched The Grudge. Uh, I do enjoy it. Um, it would have been nicer on a Buffy uh, <laughs> DVD, but I'm happy with this. So that's Sarah Michelle Gellar on The Grudge. And of course, um, if you don't know, Sarah Michelle Gellar's autograph is very hard to get. She very rarely does convention appearances and she doesn't sign through the mail. So really, for me, the only way to get it was to purchase it. The next DVD I have, again, I think was a charity shop find from my dad, and it is Oliver Twist, signed by Robert Lindsay, who I know best for my family, playing the dad in my family, actually, Ben. Um, again, like I just said, authenticity, I'm not sure, because it is a charity shop find, and obviously you can never be sure with charity shops, but it looks it looks all right to me, so... And I've not actually seen this. It does have Julie Walters in it, and Kira Knightley, Robert Lindsay, and... Uh, I've never watched it, so maybe I need to watch this. And the last DVD I have was my most recent, uh, and that's The Tudors' Complete Third Season. I took this to MCON and had it signed by David Bradley, who was in one episode of Season 3, um, Series 3, as Will, the court fool. Um, and I did say more about this in my MCON vlog, but David Bradley, his face lit up when I started talking about the Tudors, and he said not many people talk about it, but it is one of my favourite TV shows. And this is also signed on the inside. And on the inside, it is signed by Roger Ashton Griffiths, who again seemed very, very happy that I wanted to talk about the Tudors. Um, I'm not going to go into it because I have to, spoken about it in more detail, but specifically Roger Ashton Griffiths, I had such an amazing conversation with him. Well, tw two conversations, and he was such a lovely guy. So was David Bradley, but I had more time with Roger Ashton Griffiths. And I just love how these look. For If you don't know, for a long time, I was debating about taking a DVD to be signed because like I said, it's not really my thing, uh, but I uh, I love how these look. I think they look amazing, and I just yeah really like them. So that's my favourite DVD signed, and the last DVD I have signed. So we're now on to the bulk of the video, which is my signed CDs. So first up we have Molotov Jukebox. This is their album Tropical Gypsy. If you don't know Molotov Jukebox, the lead singer and instrumentalist is Natalia Turner, who played Nymphadora Tonks in Harry Potter, Osha in Game of Thrones, and lots of other bits. And that's actually signed by all of the members of the band on the booklet. So Natalia Turner's in the top left corner, and then the other members of the band. I do know their names, but I won't go through them all with you. Um, I love Molotov Jukebox's music. It's very different. I obviously got into it because of Natalia, and I think they're fantastic. I'd love to see them live. Next up we have my only Harry Potter signed CD and that is the soundtrack to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and this is signed, let me do it one handed, <laughs> this is signed just here by Patrick Doyle who was the composer of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I do have a nice letter from him as well but that's in my autograph folder so I'm very pleased to have that. Again that's signed on the booklet. Next up we have this Pulp CD, Common People, the album Common People. Um, 
The main reason I got this, I think my dad got this for me actually, is because Jarvis Cocker was actually in Harry Potter um, as Myron Wagtail in the Goblet of Fire and this is signed by Jarvis Cocker. It would be nice if it was signed by all of the members of Pulp but Jarvis Cocker's the main draw for me anyway um, and this is the only one I've got that's actually signed on the CD I believe um, so I don't dare play it. <laughs> but that's uh, Jarvis Cocker from the band Pulp. Then we have this audio CD signed by Bonnie Langford. It's Doctor Who at the BBC. This was a purchase. Bonnie Langford, uh, of course, played Mel in the classic episode, classic Doctor Who. Um, also, she's playing currently playing Carmel Kazemi in EastEnders. And Bonnie Langford's been in lots of other things, as well as having a singing career. So I'm sure you all know who Bonnie Langford is. Then we have yet another one that Dad found. I don't know if it was eBay or Charity Shop, but this is Charlotte Church, her single, Even God Can't Change the Past. Um, I do obviously know Charlotte Church. I'm not a huge fan of her music, I have to admit, but it's nice to have this CD signed. The next one is my favourite signed CD, and it is Kesha. I am a huge Kesha fan. Um, this was obtained through email, the booklet, not the CD. I already had the CD. This was obtained through email, through a private address. And to be completely honest with you, I cannot remember the address. I don't have the email address. Um, I don't have any private addresses anymore. Um, I have been looking for it myself to see if I can, uh, have another go, see if I can get another CD. Um, so I'm sorry I can't help you with this, but I'm super, super excited to have Kesha. And I actually think this is um, this CD's debut on my channel because I was going to keep it private um, because it's very personal to me, but I've decided to show you anyway. Next up, we have yet another find from my dad, and this is Duncan James. Um, again, I don't really follow Duncan James's music that much, uh, but it's nice to have it signed. Then I have a single signed by the band Almighty, once again a find from my dad, and uh, if I'm being completely honest with you, I have no idea who they are, but the CD's signed, so there you go. The next one, again, is another one from my dad, and it's Sean Maguire, who was in EastEnders a long time ago, and he's also done other bits. Once again, I don't really follow his music career, if I'm completely honest with you, but it's nice to have a signed CD. And the final one is, again, another one of my favourite CDs. This is one of my all-time favourite artists. Um, my dad purchased this from another autograph collector in my area. And oh, I'm just so happy. It's Alice Cooper. I freaking love Alice Cooper. This is my second Alice Cooper autograph in my collection. I've got him on a picture. If I could go and see Alice Cooper live, I would be a very, very happy girl. And this album is like a compilation album, I believe. So the main songs that people would probably know is School's Out, I'm 18, Poison, No More Mr. Nice Guy, things like that. Um, I love Alice Cooper. I really, really do. Um, so it's one of my favourite CDs and it's a nice way to end the video. So I believe that's all of my signed CDs, DVDs and vinyls. I can't be 100% sure that's all of them because with some of my other collections as well, I don't actually keep all of these in the same place. They're scattered about in their different collections. So I may have missed one. I keep thinking I've got a Harry Potter DVD signed, but I don't think I have. So I'm sorry if I have missed one or two. I don't think I have anyway. But thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And I will see you all soon with another video. Bye bye.